All right. So, okay. Um, building trades, plumbing curves. So like I said, we do a little bit of everything. We do carpentry. We do masonry. We do electrical. Um, but mostly our focus is on plumbing, okay? Um, that's why it's building trades, plumbing careers. And you can get a career in plumbing. Um, I'm going to talk about this in a minute. If you're a senior, um, there's a chance in my class, where you, instead of coming to my class, you go out there and you work for a plumbing company and making money instead of coming to school, but, which is a really good thing. Okay, this is a one about if you're visiting, but I'm going to go right to here. Okay, uh, this is how it works. You guys already know, since you guys already go to Ms. Chapin's class, you come either in the morning or afternoon, and you're homeschool, you vice versa. Um, you take your academic classes back to your school, and you do my class here for your trade class, which you do get credit for. Um, you also would take the bus here and back to your homeschool every day, so you don't need to worry about transportation. But if you do get a co-op, you would need transportation for that, okay? Um, you receive three credits for every year that you successfully pass your CTE class, totaling six credits for both years. And you can talk to your guidance counselor about what you need to actually um, use your credits for. Um, safety glasses are in shops. These are just those shops. If you were visiting here, you would have to wear them today. But since we're virtually, I have to wear them. But in my shop every day, you must wear safety glasses. You must wear work boots. You must wear jeans, okay? Or work pants. Um, we have a lot of tools in here. Uh, so we got safety is number, number one, okay? Okay, and that's me, Mr. Babcock. I'm the building trades plumbing instructor. I went to Room Community College for chemistry and education. Also then continue education at SUNY Cortland. Uh, work experience, over 20 years experience in the construction field. And I also teach adults plumbing and uh, electrical at night. Okay, about my class, building trades plumbing careers, like I said, covers introductory to masonry, introductory to carpentry, introductory to electrical, but we spend a lot of time on plumbing because that's where our kids, like I said, when you're senior year, if you come to my class every day, um, you're doing all your work, there's a chance for you to go and uh, work for a plumbing company instead of coming to my class. Um, you'll receive NCCR core certification. That is the, book, that is the books we use, okay? Um, you'll get a card and every time you complete a chapter or a segment in my class, um, it's recorded through NCCR. So when you take that card after you graduate to an employer, they can look up and see how you did. They can see how, how well you did in the class, what things you're good at, um, how you passed, uh, things you didn't pass. Um, also another cool thing about this is, uh, Petkoski plumbing and, uh, Petkoski and Sons plumbing and heating. Uh, Piccarelli Plumbing and Heating, they use the same book, okay? So they're teaching their apprentices through this book. So if you take it through me, you can start at like a Picasso, you start as a level two apprentice, which that means more money for you guys, okay? Um, you material that we covered in classwork. So when you come in here, we, we, do, co we do classwork about and book work, and you have performance tests. So we're just talking about floor framing. I might do a lesson on it here. We'll have some questions on it for book work. And we'll actually go out there and we'll flame, frame that floor, okay? Uh, we also cover safe use of hand tools, power tools, and commonly used in the trades. Um, Non-traditional occupations. Um, people sometimes think that the trades are a man only thing, which is not true. Um, I have six girls in my class room this year. I've had girls in my class every year. I've got girls in my class working at co-ops. I got one working at JNK Plumbing and Heating right now as a plumber. She's doing very, very well. I have another girl working at FW Web. Um, that's a plumbing supply uh, place and she's doing very well there. Okay, so it's not just a male trades anymore. So I don't want you guys to think of that and don't let anybody discourage you if there's something you really wanna do because there's lots of opportunity for employment out there, okay? Um, and we welcome so students from both genders in this classroom. I've had girls every year. I, like I said, I have six this year, so. Uh, equipment and uniform information. This is what you guys are gonna be wearing in my class every day. Um, students are expected to dress appropriately for class. 
Um, I don't care what you're wearing during class, but when you go work in a shop, you have to change. Work boots, uh, long pants and jeans, and a shirt with sleeves are required. Um, no loose, loose clothing. So you want to get caught in any machinery. We use power tools all the time, use machines all the time. And I'll provide you with safety glasses, um, but they got to be worn all times in the shop. Uh, students, students can bring their own tools. Hi, Dominic. How are you? Good. Sorry I'm late. I joined uh, another one, but it. Took yeah. The no, yeah, it's not your fault because, um, yeah, they, when they printed this sheet out, they put the wrong thing for me. So it wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault. It's we're blaming other people. All I'm right. glad you're here. Are you thinking about being a plumber? Yeah. Awesome. This is the class for you. Um, so I'm talking about right now um, in my class, you have pants, boots, safety glasses all the time, every day uh, to work in the shop. And it's expected when you go out there in the workforce, you got to do the same thing. Okay. Throughout the year, I meet with people from, um, the different plumbing companies in this area, okay? Uh, J and K, uh, plumbing and heating, J and J sheet metal, um, um, Pekoski and Sons plumbing and heating, both their plumbing part and their fire um, fire prevention system part. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, Machuska Brothers construction coming in, okay? So there's opportunity to talk. I talk with them. They recommend any, any new ideas they want me to teach the kids, making sure we're on the same page, any new equipment out there they want me to teach that they think would be effective, right? So I, I get input from them a couple times a year. Um, and every year I will give you an employability profile. Twice a year I do this for you guys. I'm going to stop sharing just for a second because this is what it looks like. Okay, this is an employability profile. It tells you what I... what. I, the companies, what I think of you as a worker, okay? Um, how you read technical information? Um, are you self-confident? Um, do you work well with others? Do you follow safety rules? Stuff like that. This is all, this just tells me what a kind of a employee I think you will make, okay? I, I update this twice a year. And it also, on the bottom, tells you what modules in my class that you have passed, both the written part and the performance part, okay? An employer can quickly see uh, how good of a worker you're going to be. And I get calls all the time too from companies looking for people and companies want to know something somebody applied to what I really think of them. So I will be always be honest with those sheets. I'm going to go back to sharing. Okay, so twice a year, I uh, thought those documenting the school skill, progress, achievement and class that you for that period. So as we, as we go through my class two years, um, by the second year, all those numbers should keep going up. I start out as a two. By the time you graduate, hopefully it'll be a three or a four. Okay, uh, you can, this can be used by a student for entry into post-secondary education, training programs, military service, and or employment opportunities. Uh, you guys are gonna make a portfolio here. It'll go right in your portfolio. We'll take pictures of um, what you guys have done um along with your resume along with um, the papers you write here other information that you can take with you on your interview for a job okay you get like i said you get integrated credit you get credit for um english language arts math or science um so instead of taking them to your school you get credit for them here so but just talk to your counselor at your home school uh regarding what possible credit options you have I got about nine minutes. I'm going to go kind of fast, right, guys? Uh, this is the classwork. These are the things we're going to do every day in my class. You might have journaling, not a lot of it, but sometimes I might ask you to write down steps of doing something, okay? Um, say we're going to install a shower in a bathroom or, or we're going to um, solder copper plumbing lines. I might ask you guys to write out the steps for doing that, okay? That would be the, most of your journaling, okay, if we do journaling. Also, like I told you, bell ringer questions, two or three questions every morning out of the book. They're all on Google Classroom. Um, really pretty easy. Um, I tell you when I give you the question in Google Classroom, I give you the number of the paragraph the answer's in, put you, put you in the right direction. It should be really easy to find the right answer, okay? Um, you guys ever do Ed Puzzles? Yes. Yep, we do those. Every day it'll be on something. Right now we're doing floor framing. So I will usually make my own Ed puzzles. I guess I'm off the internet. Uh, the questions are related to what we're doing. So right now we're framing, framing floors for buildings. Um, 
and have ed puzzles go along with what I'm teaching, okay? Just not random ed puzzles. Uh, research projects. We have two papers to write every year. Uh, no, one paper to write every year. One paper this year, one paper next year. One year, it is a job analysis. You research a job that you might be interested in, how much you make, the demand. Um, and then you give an opinion to the paper that you, after your research, do you think you want to do this for a living? Uh, the second year is a compare and contrast. Like you might compare and contrast PEX plumbing tubing versus copper plumbing tubing. And we make it really easy for you. So don't get stressed out about it. Um, um, so you, you pick a topic and you write your paper and that's pretty, and then you, that one you present like a six slide PowerPoint on what you decide, on what you uh, found out about the two things you're comparing. Uh, we have math and science projects. Right now, my kids are not in the classroom. They are outside with the science teacher. They're running uh, maple syrup lines, okay? We integrate with science teacher, the math teacher, English teacher, and we do certain projects over the years. Uh, we were supposed to start doing this one last year because of COVID, we had to wait. So right now they're out there in the snow. It's still cold out there today though. Um, we also have trade projects for every section we're doing, um, whether it's plumbing, we have uh, copper pipe projects, steel pipe projects. We have the goal on what we're doing. Um, the carpentry part, we start out with, we're building a house. So we're starting out with four framing right now, I'll show you three different ways, and, but there's a project for everything that I teach you here, okay? Um, we also have a house up on the hill, if you guys are here, we have a full-size house, the carpenters build it. We go in and put the plumbing in. Then after they move the house, uh, we go and hook the drains up. I'll show you some pictures here in a second. And you also have a senior project, which could be the Habitat House, could be the other, could be another project depending on the year. Okay, now we're gonna look at some work. There's a picture of stuff the kids are, my kids are actually doing in class. Now this is us after they moved that Habitat House up the location. They moved that that this one in the picture up around the corner up by Ely Park. So we would go up there and we connected the drains. Okay, so this is real live plumbing work. Um, and then our student did the same, hook up the drains. There's another one, two more guys, okay? So we go up there, work as a team. I might take six of you at one time. Um, like I said, it's real work experience. It's a real house. Um, here's another one of my students. This is working down here, not on site. This is before they move the house. We're putting the shower fixtures into the, um, the house. You notice that there's some leaves in the bathtub from walking up there in the woods to where the house is built. Uh, this is a somebody installing a toilet. I also have bays in my shop for installing things. Okay, we got, this is where we install our toilets. It's a project you would do before we get up there and do it on the house so you know what you're doing. Um, here's this, um, the house is from a couple of years ago. This is their build, this is build, starting building their small house. This is their part of their floor system. They got your sill joist, or your sill plate, uh, your rim joist, and there's like a pretend girder through the middle. They will, they will do a uh, floor joist in there next. Um, the boy in the yellow, he's graduated uh, two years ago. He is in the carpenters union. Like I said, my class did a little bit of everything. He decided he liked the carpentry best. He is now, he hired him right out of my class into the carpenters union. He's doing very, very well. Uh, and here's another two students. They are working on a floor system. They're actually putting their floor joists in. Um, here's a house a little farther along. We got, sorry, I'll frame uh, door openings, window openings. I show you how to lay out and cut rafters. Uh, we do roofing. So you get a little bit of building the whole house, okay? Uh, depends on the years, how far we get with these. Uh, there's a, a picture of a student. He is doing some electrical work. We do electrical wiring in here, residential. We do switches, outlets, three-way switches, four-way switches, uh, GFCI outlets. You get about 10 weeks of that in this class. So if you decide you like that, there's a chance you get to electrical electricians union. And it's also, we do some masonry in here. This is uh, students over there in the masonry classroom. Um, they're learning how to work with a uh, block. And some of the guys who took that really, really like that. Actually, one of my kids from last year is in the Mason, Mason's Union right now. And here's another outside project. We do outside projects. We might work on a baseball field somewhere, like on a field trip. This is right outside the building here, outside my door. We dug out a section in the blacktop and we're making, they're making forms right there. We're gonna put some, we're gonna pour some concrete. There's a concrete pad right outside the door. We did that. Um, earlier this year, we went up on the hill and made a concrete sidewalk around the baseball field up there, okay? So there's real live work opportunities here. 
Um, this is another weird job. We, we do jobs for the outside people too. We built these um, garden beds for Otsunago Park. Okay, those, those kids graduated a couple of years ago. Um, here's another project we did. A school needed a bench made for where they wait for the buses. So this is Brandon. He uh, designed and, and built this bench and that was his own private project. Uh, we, this is another outside job we do. We do. Um, this uh, for a 4-H, a girl's doing a 4-H project. Um, this is her big uh, project for when she's done. Um, we're helping her, we're the masonry, not the masonry team. The welders are helping, the auto body are helping, and we're helping. We did the wiring, we replaced the floorboards. We uh, put on the that whiteboards on the side, we replaced that. Um, so we're all working together to, for this project for this girl. So it's all not just work in the classroom. So we got some other outside stuff going on too. Do uh, you guys know about Skills USA? Anybody ever heard of it? I got like two minutes. So I'm yeah. just gonna go quick. Okay, so I send two. I got two minutes. So I'm gonna send. I send kids every year to um, Skills USA. Three kids. One. I, I got two plumbers that go. Usually, my two plumbers take first or second regionals, and then one of them is gonna go to the states as teamworks, where you work with a an electrician, a carpenter, a mason and a plumber are gonna to work together to build a project, okay? That's a teamwork project. Also, I send a carpenter's assistant. Uh, right now, this one, he's building a birdhouse, not a birdhouse, a doghouse, but the projects change every year. You work with a carpenter to build something, okay? And I also send a plumber. Uh, this is uh, Will, he graduated a couple of years ago. He finished fourth in the state, okay? So there's a, some uh, PVC in there. There's some copper work in there. Um, you, and if you do win states, you go away for a week. I think it's in Nashville. They might've changed the location, but they give you like $500 spending money and you go to like parks and you go out to dinner and it's, and it's kind of a cool thing. It looks good on a resume. All right, certifications you get. You OSHA 10, I'm a certified OSHA instructor. You get OSHA 10 for me. We do the NCCI I talked about. You do Hilti training, which is powder actuated fasteners where you shoot fasteners with 22 blank cartridges into concrete or steel. Um, PEC certification, man lift certification, and forklift certification are all part of here. The co-ops, I told you, instead of coming here as a senior, and I go quick, you can go work for these companies, J&K Plumbing and Heating. They've got like seven of my kids this year. I could have had more. Uh, Pekoski and Plumbing and Heating doesn't have anybody this year because they didn't have anything local right at this time. FW Webb has one of my girls there. Uh, J&J Sheet Metal is looking to start people soon, and Mark Chuska wants 10 people to start. So there's opportunities out there. And you go make it like $11 an hour instead of coming to my class. And it's a foot in the door to um, a career. Like if they like you, you're doing really well. You go in there every day. You're doing what they ask you to. They, you can get one of their apprenticeship programs. And that means you might start out like $12, $13 an hour. But every six months, you're getting a raise. By the time you've got your apprenticeship done, um, you're making good money. All right. Okay. You also get college credit. I got, okay, I got people in. Sorry, guys. The guys that got here late. Uh, let me talk to you real quick. Um, and you guys are here for the first part. Do you guys have any questions for me? Like Destiny, Dominic, or John? No, I'm good. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, have your counselor maybe come in and talk to me. And any of you guys think this might be something you want to do? Yeah. Okay, awesome. All right. So I good to meet you. I, I wish I, this wasn't as screwed up as it is and have the wrong link, but um, at least I got to talk to you a little bit. If you guys, well, Destiny and John, if you have any questions, you guys are here. You can always talk to me about anything you want. And Dominic, if, I'm sure you get myself my uh, email if you need anything, you want to, any questions you want to ask me. All right. Thank you. All right. You guys have a great day and go on to your next meeting.